Hello and welcome to the tutorial in Fusion 360 in EG1000. In this tutorial, you need to provide two paper printouts with a view of solid model. And in the second printout, you need to provide the three orthographic views and an isometric view. The orthographic view must be from A and another left-hand side view from B. And a top view. That's a general one. And you do need to dimension your drawing and all of the views must be aligned using the third angle projection. Now, here is the interface of the Fusion 360 and on the top is uh, the panels of the command and on the left hand side is a project tree. Here is a view uh, shortcut for you. And in the first step, I need to create a new uh, sketch to start drawing. So I select my plane to draw on it and here you can see the line with the shortcut will be L. So I can just press L to start drawing a line. And I can enter the length of the line here in millimeter is 75 millimeters. And I keep drawing uh, the cross sections of my details. When I draw a circle, I need to enter the diameter before I finish it. And I can reposition it by user dimensions and I enter the dimension is 25 which is just equal to the radius so the circle would go down for the quadrant snap I need to use uh, to go from the center and go along the radius and then I go up and in Fusion 360 you can enter an equation for the dimensions so for example here I use 64 minus 25 so it's going to be 39 and this way I can draw all of my cross section area So, I need a hole in here. When you have finished one, you just click on finish project. And uh, if you want to edit it, just click on the project sheet and edit a sketch, you just draw. Here I need to trim uh, the unnecessary part. Yep, and that is and I finish my sketch. Now in the next step, I just extrude my uh, cross section area to make the object. So I click on the extrude and exit it. Now here is a draft of my object. I need some detail. So I need to cut on this plane. So I click on this plane and click create a sketch and I draw the part I want to cut off. So it would be a triangle on the top left and another triangle on the top right. To draw the triangle on the top right, you can use a, a mirror command. But in this uh, quick example, I just draw it again. It may be faster than introducing a new command. Now for the circle at the middle, I have to align with the middle point yep, and go all the way down and enter the radius. Um, I mean the diameter and to reposition it I use the dimensions 
to get the distance from the top is 32 mm. Now I have everything I need. I just finish and cut it. To cut it, I need to use the command extrude. It's really hard to see from this view, so therefore I will spin it a little bit. Yep, so a letter. And then I come back. Now I, if I go to the right, it's going to be extrude. But when I go to the left, it's going to be a cut extrude. So I just enter the depth I want to cut it. And I should do the same to the top plane to have two horns from here. So I use circle. Please don't forget that you need to um, enter the diameter before you finish it. So my circle has diameter is 12 and the distance to the edge will be 16. Now for the second circle, I just draw as a line from the center of the O circle and enter the diameter before I finish it. And I reposition it by set the distance to the previous circle. This is 22 plus 22 is 44. I'm done. Now I need to cut it through. Yep. So here is my detail. In the next step, I need to create drawing from this one. In this example, you need to print out, but I just, in this uh, tutorial, I just make only one, the other one you can do by yourself. So to make a drawing, I need to save it first. So I save it at exercise one and in the project exercise one. After that, I have to select the properties of the template I'm going to use. So I'm going to use a tree, that's okay for me. And it takes a second to load uh, the template. Now, in the first step, I need to put uh, the base view for my drawing. So I select it a front view and I put it here. The top and the left can be put placed later. So I change the scale to one to one. So it's going to be bigger and the visibility should be okay for me. Uh, it's a visible with uh, some dash line. Um, now, after I have placed the base view, I need to put some other dependent view and I click on the projected view and I click on the base view to get this one. The top view must be on the top, but if you go this way, it's going to be the bottom view because I am in the first angle projection, so I put it right at the bottom. So I will have the top view. And for the left view, I put on the right hand side. I can reposition it later. Yep, after I've done, I just reposition it. And align them. Yep. And I need one more, the projection view. So I need, it should be from the top left. So I put it down over here and then I reposition it to the top. I will guide you how to change the preference for position later. As I don't need to dimension my drawing, so my next step will be I need to change the property drawings. So I double click on this title block and I enter the information I need to. Please 
put your tutor name in the approval by blocks and uh, put the date when you uh, submit it. For example, let me see what date today. So it's 5th of August now, so I just put here. And in the box uh, created by, you just put your name there. And in case we have several students with the same name, you can put your student ID next to it. And that's all. Now we can finish and come back. So here is the first print out. You need one more but you can also do it by yourself and just export it as PDF and submit online. Um, now we just back to the preference for the third angle and the first angle. If you click on your name and then click on preference, you can find the drawing options. You can use the American standard, which is a, a third angle, or you can use the ISO international standard which is the first angle or you still can use the ISO but you click on the box and override it with the third angle project so that's your preference for drawing and that is I hope you enjoy the tutorial and have good submission thank you and see you in the next video